Looked over there, you might see the crew from the Big Breakfast. They're all here, they're all here right in this very studio. Anyway, as we head into round two now, let's take a look at those scores. Lauren is on zero at the moment. Lauren, you have control of the grid first up in round two, which is to your advantage. Both Elizabeth and Andrew on 25 points. We wish you all the best of luck. And now let's do it. Let's play Wipeout. <laughs> round two, we've doubled the points from 25 to 50 for every correct answer. The title of the grid now in round two Boys. is... Follow your captain's lead. We are looking for captains of the NRL. So we'll go to the game board now for our 16 possibilities in round two. As per usual, there are 12 correct answers. Four of them are wipeouts. Lauren, you have control of the grid. For 50 points, can you find me a captain in the NRL? Good luck. Laurie Daly. We're going for Laurie Daly on the first column. The third one down. Is Loz a correct answer? Yes, he is. Captain of the Raiders. Well done, Lauren, on 50 points. Hey, Lauren. You've got the lead Yay. from zero straight up to 50. Well done. OK, Elizabeth, play now passes to you. What Glenn you Lazarus, like? please. OK, we're going for Glenn Lazarus on the third column. Third one down. Is Glenn Lazarus a correct answer? Yes, captain of the Melbourne Storm, a team that's uh, done very well. Uh, only been playing for a couple of years. Well, not Glenn, but the team. <laughs> Glenn's been playing for a while. Correct answer there. Well done, Elizabeth. Andrew, to you now. Um, Kevin Walters. Can we make it 75 with a correct answer for Andrew? Kevin Walters on the top right-hand corner. Is Kevy a correct answer? Yes, captain of the Broncos. Andrew, living in Brisbane, you'd be a bit of a fan of the Bronx, wouldn't you? Yep. Yep. OK, he's up to 75. Lauren, back to you. What would you like this time around? Um, Brad Fittler. OK, we're going for Brad Fittler on the bottom left-hand corner, looking for captains of the NRL. Is Brad Fittler a correct answer? Captain of the Sydney City Roosters. Lauren's up to uh, 100, still in the lead. Elizabeth, to you now. Steve Carter. OK, we're going for Steve Carter on the far column. The third one down. Is Steve Carter a correct answer? Computer says you're right, Captain of the Panthers. Penrith probably likes a bit of cauliflower cheese and mashed potato, all that energy food, eh, Elizabeth? Play now passes to Andrew. Andrew, what would you like? Um, Andrew Eddinghausen. Are we going to have bingo with Andrew Eddinghausen? Let's take a look on the second column. Yes! Bingo! Andrew's up to 125, captain of the Cronulla Sharks there. Play now passes to Lauren. Lauren, you have control. Do you like being in control? Yep. <laughs> Particularly if you score a correct answer. What would you like for your next selection? Um, Jeff Truvy. OK, we're going for Jeff Tuvey on the top line, third one along. Is Jeff Tuvey a correct answer? <laughs> Captain of the Manly Seagulls. Lauren's up to 150. I tell you what, it's a very close game here. Elizabeth, play now passes to you. Paul Harrigan. They know they're captains. Let's take a look on the third column. Second one down. Is Paul Harrigan a captain in the NRL? <laughs> yes, of the Newcastle Knights. And Elizabeth is up to 175. Andrew, to you now, taking good care. Still four wipeouts remaining on the game board. Four correct answers. Andrew, a potential 50 points up for grabs here. What would you like? Um, Jared McCracken. OK, we're going for Jared McCracken on the top left-hand corner. Is Jared McCracken a correct answer? Yes, we've cracked open 50 points there for Andrew. He's up to 175. Captain of the Power, co-captain of the Parramatta Eels. Play now passes to Lauren. Lauren, to you. What would you like? Um, Kiefer Sutherland. OK, we're going for... Kiefer Sutherland on the second column, second one down. Is that a correct answer? No, it's a wipeout tornado out there, Lauren, from 150. You had the lead for, uh, for a part of round two just now. He's an American actor and not a captain in the NRL, unfortunately. So we'll remember that for next time. Still three wipeouts remaining on the game board, Elizabeth. Taking good care for your next selection. What would you like? Ron Howard. We're going for Ron Howard on the bottom right-hand corner. There it is, right down the bottom there. Is it a correct answer for Ron? No. No, uh, another American, not a captain in the NRL. Ron Howard, he's a famous director uh, in the United States. And you might remember Ron from Happy Days. He was one of the actors in Happy Days. So we found two of the wipeouts so far. Andrew, take good care not to find the third or fourth. There are two wipeouts remaining on the game board. Three correct answers. Your chances are good. What would you like? Um, Andrew Leeds. We're going for Andrew Leeds this time on the top line. Second one along. Could be a good choice. Is it a correct answer? Yes, it is. Well done. Speaking of Andrew, Andrew's up to 225. Lauren, back to you. Um, David Jachovny. Nice try. David Jachovny on the bottom line. Third one along. Is David Jachovny a correct answer? No, another American. He's Fox 
Mulder from uh, the X-Files. Lauren staying on zero there. Elizabeth, play now passes to you, Elizabeth. One wipeout remaining on the game board and two correct answers. Your chances are good, Elizabeth. One in three, uh, two in three chance of getting it right. Darren Centre. We're going for Darren Centre this time on the far column. Second one down is Darren Centre, a correct answer. Captain in the NRL of the Balmain Tigers. Elizabeth is up to 50. Hey, Andrew. It's all uh, comes down to you, mate. One wipeout remaining, one correct answer. You've got a lot to lose and a lot to gain. Take good care. What would you like? Um, Darren Britt. Darren Britt on the bottom line. The second one along is Darren Britt, a correct answer. Final correct answer, Darren Britt, captain of the Canterbury Bulldogs. That brings us to the end of round two. The one remaining possibility, Mike Myers. He is in Austin Powers. He's not a captain in the NRL. So at the end of round two, let's take a look at the scores. Unfortunately, Lauren wiped out there a couple of times. Elizabeth on 50. She goes through to round three. So does Andrew on 275. Big score with Andrew. Lauren. We say goodbye to you. Did you have fun on the show today? Yeah, you looked like you were having fun. You embarrassed all your friends at the start of the show. Thank you very much for joining us. Give us a big wave and here's Troy with your goodies. Hey, well played, Lauren. You've won a book bonanza from Penguin Australia. Some of the books are Night Train, Lucky Leonard, Human Torpedo, See How They Run and Piggy in the Middle, plus a whole stack of others. With a big thanks to Penguin Australia and, of course, the gang right here at Woo 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 Wipeout. Thank you very much, Troy. That's for Lauren from the Prince of Peace School. And when we come back after the break, we'll be playing our third round. It's our Wipeout Bid for the Grid. Back really soon. When Home and Away returns for its 15th record-breaking year. Will she ever see her husband again? Is their relationship about to end? Home and Away returns January 13. I tell you, it's a flying disc. It's a ball. It's a disc. It's a ball. It's flat ball. That's got to be the craziest thing I've ever seen. Throw the disc, catch the ball. Flat ball. <laughs> <laughs> it's even spelled funny. <laughs> Who knows when or where it will pop off. Flat ball. It's like totally weird. But it's awesome fun. Out now from bits and pieces. All right, it's a ball. Flying disc. Pooh. Danced. Stumbled. Stumbled. What's she doing? She's reading. By herself. The jet will. Zip. 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 With a LeapPad learning system from LeapFrog. Kids don't just learn to read, they love to read. She's liking it. She's on the last page. <laughs> oh no. And with a complete library of books. Reading, maths. You can keep the passion Ooh, alive chapter books. for years to come. LeapFrog. Learn something new every day. Get into the pool and party with Aqua Radio. Listen to your favourite FM radio station in the pool and underwater. It's even got four amazing sound effects. Use Magnet Dive Club's incredible magnetic attraction to catch the fish. Each one you catch adds to your score. It's underwater magnetic fun. Aqua Radio, Magnet Dive Club, together with Dive Ball, Scatterfish and Aqua Light Mask. It's a party in the pool from Fritz and Pieces. In stores now. Welcome back to Wipeout. Round three is coming up shortly, but first, here is Troy to tell us all about the school's prizes. Troy. Thanks, Tony. All schools on Wipeout today receive a selection of computer software to make learning at school even more exciting. The EduMass and Edu English software include thousands of interactive exercises and fun activities to give students a competitive edge. With thanks to EduCorp Software, Scholastic New Media and Wipeout. Thank you very much, Troy. Time now for our third round, our wipeout bid for the grid. Andrew and Elizabeth have made it through. Congratulations, it's the best of three quick grids. So we'll get set to go. We'll wish you the best of luck. And now let's do it. Let's play wipeout. The title of our first quick grid on today's show is Mix and Match. We are looking for different types of house furniture. Let's go to the game board now for our possibilities. Twelve of them up there, eight are correct answers. For our wipeouts, we're looking for different types of house furniture. And here's five seconds to think about your answers. Andrew and Elizabeth. Time is up, players. Locking in your bids. What are you going to go for? OK. Andrew's gone for five. Elizabeth has also gone for five. Elizabeth, you'll be happy about this. You were first in, so you have control of the first quick grid. Find me five correct answers, one at a time. Footstool. Okay, we're going for footstool on the bottom line. The second one along is footstool, a correct answer. For Elizabeth, yes it is, one tick so far. No points in round three, just big ticks. Elizabeth, four to go. Coffee table. We're going for coffee table. Right next to footstool on the bottom line once again. Third one along this time, is it a correct answer? Yes, coffee table is right. Two out of five, three to go, Elizabeth. Writing desk. Writing desk, so far so good. Can we make it three out of five with writing desk? Yes, we can. That's a type of house furniture. Two to go, Elizabeth. 
kitchen stool. We're going for kitchen school. This stool, kitchen school. Good one, Tone. <laughs> kitchen stool is kitchen stool. The correct answer. That makes it four out of five. Only one to go. The first quick grid will be yours, Elizabeth. Good luck. Boardroom table. We're going for the boardroom table. Looking for types of house furniture. Boardroom table is lit up. Is it a correct answer? The big wipeout wave wiped you out there. Unfortunately, Elizabeth, play now passes to Andrew. Andrew, here's your big chance. All you need to do is find me one correct answer. The first quick grid will be yours, taking it away from Elizabeth. What would you like? Bean bag. Go for bean bag on the far column. Third one down. Is bean bag a correct answer? Most certainly is. Andrew has won the first quick grid, taking it away from uh, Elizabeth there. Elizabeth, nice try though, you did get four out of five. Beanbag was a correct answer. Back to the game board for the remaining correct answers that were up there. The club chair, which is a very relaxing chair. Uh, director's chair, you can find those indoors or outdoors. And the garden bench, different types of house furniture. So uh, Andrew is one up at the moment. Time now for the title of our second quick grid and it is... The Swinging Jungle. I tell you what, I think we need a bit of a Tarzan sound effect from Troy. We are looking for animals... <laughs> sounds like a sick Tarzan. Animals that live in a tropical forest. OK, let's go to the game board now for our 12 possibilities. Eight are correct answers. Four of them are wipeouts. Looking for animals that live in a tropical forest. And here's five seconds. Andrew and Elizabeth, both of them concentrating, trying to work it out. Time is up, players. Locking in your bids. What are you going to go for? Okay, Andrew's gone for four, so has Elizabeth. Andrew, you are first in, so you have control of the second quick grid. Find me four correct answers one at a time. Good luck. Um, boa constrictor? We're going for the boa constrictor on the bottom right-hand corner first up. Is that a correct answer? Well done, Andrew. One quarter of the way there, three to go. Um, Mako? Macaw on the bottom line once again. Third one along this time. Is that an animal that lives in a tropical forest? Yes, along with the boa constrictor. Halfway there, Andrew, two to go. Um, hedgehogs? We're going for hedgehogs this time on the top line. Second one along. Is that an animal that lives in a tropical forest? No! We, we, we flushed you. Didn't hurt too much, did it, Andrew? Wiping out, unfortunately, with hedgehog. Not an animal that lives in a tropical forest. Play now passes to Elizabeth. Elizabeth. Happy about this, aren't you? <laughs> uh, all you need to do is find me one correct answer. Second quick grid will be yours, keeping you in the game. What would you like, Elizabeth? Orangutan. We're going for orangutan on the first column. Second one down. Is orangutan a correct answer? Yes, it most certainly is. Well done. Away from Andrew, which is what Andrew did to her with the first one. Very endangered, the orangutan. Let's go back to the game board quickly. Tarantula, a correct answer. The two toed sloth. What a great sounding creature. The leopard the spider monkey and the giant anteater. All of those correct answers. Animals that live in a tropical forest. So one apiece at the moment, one for Andrew, one for Elizabeth. Time now for our third and final quick grid. The title of this one is Salty Moments. We're looking for parts of a sailing ship. Let's go to the game board now, to the wipeout grid for our 12 possibilities once again. Eight are right, four are wrong. Look out for the wipeouts and here's five seconds to think about your answers. Parts of a sailing ship on this one. OK, time is up, players. Locking in your bids. OK, Elizabeth has gone for four. Andrew's gone for four. Elizabeth, you were first in on this one. Got to be happy about that. Find me four correct answers, one at a time, to win the third and final quick grid. Port. Port. On the bottom right-hand corner is port, a part of a sailing ship. Yes, it is. <laughs> one out of four. Three to go, Elizabeth. Mast. We're going for mast this time on the bottom line. Second one along this time is mast, a correct answer. <laughs> yes, it is. Halfway there, Elizabeth. Two to go. Good mainsail. Night. We're going for mainsail. On the top line, third one along is mainsail, a correct answer. Yes, it is. That makes it three out of four. Only one to go, Elizabeth. The third and final quick grid and the game will be yours. Yard arm. We're going for yard arm. Is that a part of a sailing ship for the grid? For the round. Yes, it is. Makes it. For one of those long distance handshakes for Elizabeth. Well done. Back to the game ball quickly for the other four correct answers and the four wipeouts. Mask, a wipeout. Rumba, a wipeout. Poop deck. I wonder what the poop deck is. <laughs> poop deck, uh, correct answer. David, a correct answer. Pug was a wipeout. Samba was a wipeout. And Bullock and Flying Jib were correct answers as well. So at the end of round three now, Elizabeth has won two. Andrew has won one. Andrew from Padua, we say goodbye to you. Thanks heaps for joining us on the show. We've got a big clap and the Penguin books for Andrew. Let's hear it for him. Thanks for joining us on the show.
And when we come back after the break, Elizabeth will be having a shot at the major prize with Win It in a Minute. Back soon. Yeah! Right now at Red Rooster, you'll get a bouncy or talking Furby keyring or tough Tonka truck with every little Red Rooster meal. Get into Red Rooster and collect all three Yay! fabulous Furby keyrings and all four tough Tonka trucks. Only at Red Rooster. What's that? Oh, it's my new password journal, too, from Girl Tech. Oh, privacy. With style. <laughs> privacy I control. Only my voice opens it. Jitterbug. Welcome back. Let me try. Sure. Jitterbug. Access denied. Oh. <laughs> and there's security. Two intruders. It tells me when my brothers tried to sneak a peek. Oh, yeah, and there's night lights so I can make entries in the dark. Privacy with style. Girl Tech knows girls. Definitely. Password journal, two from Girl Tech. Privacy you control. Batteries not included. Get into the pool and party with Aqua Radio. Listen to your favourite FM radio station in the pool and... Underwater. It's even got four amazing sound effects. Use magnet dive gloves, incredible magnetic attraction to catch the fish. Each one you catch adds to your score. It's underwater magnetic fun. Aqua Radio, magnet dive club, together with dive ball, scatterfish and aqua light mask. It's a party in the pool from Fritz and Pieces. In stores now. This is Elizabeth Muller. Congratulations, Elizabeth. She has made it through to our final segment. Win it in a minute. We'll go straight to the game board now for the two subjects that you have to choose from. Shell them out. And at the bottom, bits and pieces. Which one would you like, Elizabeth? Bits and pieces. Going for bits and pieces. We're going for the bottom one. Let me tell you what we're looking for. Parts of a guitar. Let's go back to the game board now. For the parts of a guitar, 12 possibilities up there. Six are correct answers. Six of them are wipeouts. We wish you the best of luck and your time starts now. Go, Elizabeth. Parts of Elbow. a guitar. Um, Elizabeth Muller from Hillard. Five saddle, Sisters, magenta, pet bird chip. hammer. She's made it through. Neck, neck, a in a minute. That's head. five. That makes six. Racing down now, looking for parts of the guitar. I tell you what, she's halfway there with 42 seconds Three. remaining on the clock. Um, if you're not too sure of some of the answers, take a guess. Take a couple off and try a couple of others. Bridge. Give it a go. That's that's six. Uh, change something else if you like, or you can run down and check it out. Okay. To you, going for the Rand this time. And that's three, still three. <laughs> Halfway there. Um, and you've got 22 seconds remaining. Now yeah. 20. Okay, that's six once again. We've got three still halfway there. Come on, Elizabeth. Saddle. Give away that major Jag. prize the Tesco Telescope. Can she do it with 11 seconds remaining <laughs> on the clock? Still three. <laughs> That makes cheese. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, you're still on three. Give it another go, give it another go. Oh, we're out of time. Let's hear it for Elizabeth, though. She gave it her best shot. She got three out of six. I wonder if we can give you half the prize. <laughs> That'd be right. Missed out on the major prize. However, you have won this, Troy. Well done, Elizabeth. You're, you've won a prize pack full of Denny cycling gear. You'll receive a jump bike helmet, cotton cycle jersey, bike pants, riding gloves and socks, plus a drink bottle and pack bag. Congratulations from Netty Australia and Wipeout. Thank you, Troy. Elizabeth, that's for you for being a runner-up on the show today. The parts of the guitar that we were looking for, the fret, the head for everyone playing along at home, the saddle, the rosette, the neck and the bridge. Thank you, Elizabeth. Thanks for joining us at home. Catch you again tomorrow for day three for more Wipeout. See you, everyone. Tony's dressed exclusively in the hipness surfwear fashion from Brothers Neils in Australia. In the breaks, our audience cool down with splash flavoured mineral water and wrap their chompers around Kellogg's LCM rice bubble bars. This has been a Southern Star concept production for the Seven Network Australia. Christmas is trying to get out of the kitchen. <laughs> Stuffing the chicken. Me not having to cook. Thanks, Mum. Christmas is getting together and feasting on the bird. The big lunch, the rellos over and having a great time. Falling asleep after lunch. Christmas is leaving the cookies and milk out for Santa. Happy Christmas!